G'day, how you going? So we're back again. Mm -hmm. It's Richard from Off-Road Touring Life. Now, in this video, it's not so much a how-to video. It's a more of a video of what you need to turn your jerry can into a gravity-fed system. So when you are at camp, you can actually leave your jerry can in the back of your car. Or if you've got a wagon like myself, or in your canopy, I've got a list of bits and pieces you need to actually turn that into that system. And I'll walk you through those now and show you exactly what you need to uh, set up. It'll only cost you around $30 to do it, so it is a pretty cheap option rather than having to lug that out. And the dog's waiting for its ball to be thrown. Alright, so that should keep the dog happy for a minute. Now, firstly, we'll start from the end of the jerry can. So, obviously at the bottom here, you have a water outlet there, or you can even fill it from it if you want to. Once this is done, I'll show you that. But you can take this off here, a little plug at the end. So what you do need is a 20mm BPA thread and it has a 13 mil barb on it. So you'll find this in the, uh, this is from the gardening section in your local hardware store. So that just screws straight into there. So I've also got some uh, Teflon tape. Now, I probably don't really need Teflon, but it doesn't hurt just to do a couple wraps around it, just to minimize the chances of that leaking. So what I'll do now, I'll um, put the tape on it and I'll take that uh, little plug out. Hang on a minute, I'll get the ball in a sec. And then we'll, uh, show you the next step now i know i said it's not really a how-to video but that phillips head there that i have there is not really adequate and i don't want to strip the uh cap out so all i've done we're going to use this shifter shortly but that actually the back end of that fits in there not too bad so i'll just unscrew that now and then i'll uh chuck a bit of tape on here and i'll fit that in but this comes in handy for when you want to tighten up your thread into the jerry can but obviously you don't want to do it up too tight because it wouldn't take much just to strip out that there but i'll put the tape on now i won't film all that bit it's not that exciting but uh i'll chuck that in now and get that bit set up so earlier on i mentioned about this thread here so your 20 mil bpa and i'll talk you through the other um parts that you'll need as well so i've got myself a two meter uh garden hose so it's already come with the uh, brass fittings and it's all crimped there nice and tight so that obviously reduce, reduces the chance of the uh, hose leaking at all and then i grabbed an inline tap now that's got a uh, from memory i think that had the 13 mil thread on it as well now the beauty of this is once it's all connected i'll show you but that does screw into the um the fitting on the end there and that gives you your tap and a hose clamp and the tape so just while I'm screwing that in there now, um, you might be wondering why I didn't get the food grade uh, hose, which in my old camper trailer and stuff, I definitely use food grade, but this jerry can is predominantly for washing up or showering and things like that. It's, we don't use it just for drinking water. Oh. We prefer to buy the oh. uh, 600 ml bottles and then we, if, for waste when we're away, we actually squash the bottles down, screw the lid on so you don't have big plastic bottles everywhere. But just for drinking water, we don't always use these. Of course, if we need an emergency, we have got it, but that's why I've just used the garden mm -hmm. hose before any of you wonder why I haven't used it. It's because we normally do it with the uh, mm -hmm. with the water bottles mm -hmm. that you buy, and they're relatively cheap now. Yep, and I'll just throw the ball to the dog again. I'll be right back. So I'll just nip that up. Alright, so I've got that all threaded in there now. I'll just sit the jerry can in the car where I'm going to actually um, have it positioned and I'll cut this hose to length. Make sure I cut it off the right end of the hose, of course. And then I'll uh, show you what the next step is or the next part that I'll need, which will be this hose clamp here. So I'll just go measure that up and I'll be right back. So I just got. Just got the old trusty Leatherman there. So that's about the length I'm going to need. I've just got the tap dummied in there at the moment. And I'll uh, give this a quick cut. Right, oh, that should be the perfect length there. I'll grab that jerry can back out and I'll uh, connect the hose to it. All right, so hang on. Alright, so 
that's the hose clamp I've got there. Um, pretty sure it's the right size. If not, I'll go back through my kit and see what, what else I've got. But this is just one I had sitting at home. So basically, I've just cut the hose off there. I'm going to slide that on. Uh -huh. Like that. And I'll get the screwdriver out the Leatherman. Tighten that up. But before I do do that, I'll show you this hose fitting. So, hang on, Scout. So you got this fitting here, which comes with the uh, which comes with the hose, obviously. It's already connected to it, so that's that's good. And then I can just screw that tap on. So nice and simple, just an inline tap there and the other luxury is as well if you want to you can even get a connection get a connector and leave it in your car or if it's mounted permanently in your canopy etc you can actually fill that up from the bottom up but of course you want to be keeping an eye on the top and not make sure that you don't uh, overfill it but I'll uh, go ahead and tidy uh, tighten up that hose clamp now and uh, do a test run and see how it all goes make sure I've got no leaks I've got that hose clamp on the hose is on and I'll just pop this uh, tap in now, and then I'll fill it with water and see how we go. So those of you with a keen eye will notice that I've swapped jerry cans. So I swapped it out with the 18 litre Pro Quip for the 22 litre. So the beauty of this is quite simple to swap from jerry can to jerry can, depending on your trip and how much room and all that sort of stuff. So it's quite a versatile little uh, setup. So. As you can see, it all works well. I'll probably leave water sitting in it for a, a day or two and I'll swirl it around to make sure that I don't have any leaks. But it's just a matter of having the jerry can higher, obviously. Turn it on. And then there's your water. So no more lugging this thing in and out of the car when I'm away on weekends. And for a cheap $30 mod, it's nice and easy. 20 mil to 13 mil barb with a garden hose the hose clamp, which most people have probably got lying around anyway, and the inline tap, which screws neatly into the tap fitting. So, nice and simple. So, and for those of you wondering who was all that barking carrying on in the background, this is her here, our Kelpie. So she's been in a couple of videos, but um, yeah, obviously loves her ball being thrown. So we'll see you all next time. Cheers.